international border closure maintained to curb spread of new variants. Malaysia's mega bhakti in search of sunken Cree Nangala. Welcome to Updates at Noon with me, Brenna Lepaul. The government will maintain the border closure despite appeals from certain quarters for the reopening of the country's border. Prime Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin said the decision whether to reopen borders was something the government had to carefully consider from various angles. The Premier said the reopening of the country's border would also lead to the entry of new COVID-19 variants that were more dangerous and lethal from countries like India and South Africa. Kita menimbang daripada berbagai sudut, mungkin kalau kita buka terlalu awal, dia menjadi masalah. Kalau tak buka langsung pun, seperti sekarang pun bermasalah. Ini pertimbangan-pertimbangan yang amat sukar. Yang saya sendiri terpaksa buat. Tan Sri Muhyiddin said this at the presentation of Ramadan contributions for Gambe State constituents at Masjid Jamik Simpang Lima Darat in Bukit Gambe, Muar. He also explained that the government's decision to bar travellers from India from entering into the country is not discriminatory or racist. Instead, it is to curb the spread of a new COVID-19 variant. Meanwhile, Tan Sri Muhyiddin said among factors that still caused COVID-19 infection in the country was non-compliance of standard operating procedures, SOP. As such, he said the government has a responsibility to enforce the law in order to control the spread of the virus, including issuing compounds. The Prime Minister appealed to all Malaysians to be more responsible and join hands with the government in dealing with the pandemic by adhering to the instructions issued by the authorities. Untuk menentukan kita mesti bersama-sama menangani masalah ini. Mengikuti arahan yang telah dikeluarkan oleh pihak kerajaan tentang cara kita berinteraksi, berurusan, bersosial, menjalankan kegiatan sukan, bersekolah dan sebagainya. Kesemua tempat-tempat yang saya sebut itu antara tempat-tempat yang agak ramai terlibat dengan penduduk dalam negara kita. He said if this was not carefully controlled and there was no enforcement against those who broke the law, the pandemic would not be contained anytime soon. The Sabah state government has decided to ban travellers from India, France, the United States, Africa and Brazil to the state effective today to curb the spread of COVID-19. Chief Minister Dato Hajiji Noor said the ban is also an important step to stop new COVID-19 variants detected in India from spreading to the state. In a statement, the Chief Minister said exceptions will be given to Sabahans, married couples and children of Sabahans only but they need to adhere to the 14-day quarantine at gazetted quarantine stations. He said ship crews which travel histories from India in the past 14 days will not be allowed to undergo the sign-off procedure in the state. Exceptions will be given to Malaysian ship crew, but they will still need to undergo the 14-day quarantine process at gazetted quarantine stations. The organizers of Ramadan and Idil Fitri Bazaars in Lorong Tuanku Abdul Rahman, Kuala Lumpur are urged to improve compliance with the Standard Operating Procedure SOP issued by the National Security Council to curb the spread of COVID-19. In making this call, Federal Territories Minister Tansri Anwar Musa also wanted the organizers, which comprise Residents Committee and Hawkers Association, to always be alert on the SOP and not to take it lightly. The minister said the government encouraged self-enforcement and community empowerment, saying the community managing these bazaars should always remind each other. At the same time, Tan Sri Anwar said among the aspects that need to be improved was to increase the number of authorities. Kejanji dulu nak kena nak ada rela, ada jepam, 
dan juga sukarelawan penguat kuasaan. Saya harap dapat ditambah. Ditambah sukarelawan penguat kuasaan, mungkin dengan pakai baju ataupun identifikasi tertentu, supaya lebih visible mereka-mereka yang menjalankan penguat kuasaan. Itu yang pertama. Yang kedua, soal jumlah yang ada di satu tempat pada satu masa. Ya. He was met after the handing over of clothes and do it raya contributions to persons with disabilities and asnaf in Kuala Lumpur. Previously, some photos of crowded bazaars and long queue which clearly ignored the physical distance regulation went viral on social media, creating a fear that it will trigger a bazaar cluster. The Environment and Water Ministry is in the midst of drafting the establishment of a National Environment Commission to update environment-related matters. Its minister, Datu Sri Tuan Ibrahim Tuan Man, said the commission will also cover elements linked to climate change. Met after a visit to University of Malaya, UM, yesterday, Datu Sri Tuan Ibrahim said the ministry was reaching out to various experts in an effort to establish the commission. He also said the ministry was focusing on implementing the Low Carbon City program to reduce carbon emissions. Selain pada kita ada komitmen juga pada anak terbangsa, kita juga kena kena buat negara kita macam mana kita nak nak, nak offset karbon yang dikeluarkan. Gerakan kita sekarang ni fokus kita pertama sekali untuk laksanakan projek program low carbon city supaya bandar-bandar kita tidak dapat di, di reduce pengeluaran karbon. The Royal Malaysian Navy's RMN submarine rescue ship MV Megabakti is conducting operations to find additional debris belonging to the Indonesian Navy TNI submarine that went missing last Wednesday in the northern Bali waters. RMN Chief Admiral Tan Sri Mohamad Reza Mohamad Sani said MV Megabakti was ready to use all the capabilities available on the ship in the submarine search operation, including the use of intervention remotely operated vehicles IROV equipment at the location involved. Currently, MV Megabakti is conducting patrols around the area of the sunken KRI Nangala position to assist in the search for additional evidence floating on the surface. MV Megabakti bersedia menggunakan semua keupayaan yang ada untuk operasi ini termasuk menggunakan intervention remotely operated vehicles ataupun ROV kedalaman lokasi akhir KRI Nanggala iaitu pada kedalaman 839 meter adalah jauh melebihi kemampuan ROV Megabakti iaitu 650 meter sahaja Met after officiating the 87th RMN Day Parade at the KD Palando Parade Ground in Lumut, Pera, Tan Sri Mohamad Reza said the next assignment of MB Megabakti depends on the Indonesian Navy. The operation of MB Megabakti's ship was led by RMN Commander Mohamad Hyrule Fahmi Yom, with 54 crew comprising 10 officers and medical staff of the Malaysian Armed Forces. The National Film Development Corporation Malaysia Finas, in collaboration with RTM, is offering the Pelaksana 3.0 Kenegaraan Fund to local production companies to boost the production of national theme creative content. Now, the fund will also be able to help regenerate the creative industry economy affected by COVID-19. Finas in a statement said that the fund was offered to local production companies to produce works for special national theme programs on television station platforms in mini-series of eight episodes or super telemovie categories. Apart from that, Finas in collaboration with Media Prima also invites local production companies to apply for the TV slash OTT over the top program fund for the production of super telemovies. Application for these funds is now open until 25th May via FINAS website.
With that, we conclude today's updates at noon. In our top story, national border closure maintained to curb spread of new variants. Do join us at 10 p.m. for News at 10 on my free view, Solar and Barita RTM Channel 123. You can also stream the channel via YouTube or RTM Click web portal and mobile app. To then, I'm Brendan Paul. Stay tuned to TV2.